What is up, you guys? Welcome back to our reactions for The Acolyte. We are continuing tonight at the halfway point of this show already with episode four. I have been waiting for this for only a few hours because if you saw my episode three reaction, you know I had to wait a week to watch that because I was out of town, away, couldn't react. Nonetheless, I am so excited for this coming off of episode three. There are still so many mysteries here and now we know that May is on the hunt for her next target, Kelnaka. I'm assuming after after that flashback episode in which we shot back into the past 16 years ago to witness the events that kind of were the catalyst for what May is after now, this the, the, the dawn of her vendetta here, hunting down these Jedi, we still aren't privy entirely to what they might have done behind the scenes during the, the demise of the Coven. I'm still not entirely convinced that the one piece of notebook paper that May ignited was enough to cr bring down the whole place. The entire fortress was ablaze. And unless they had terrible fire protection, I just don't think that's possible. All I know is the entirety of the coven, as we saw them, you know, when they met their fate, it was not at the hands of the fire. Something else was in the works. What it could be is still a mystery. There's still lots left to discover here. And of course, now I'm rooting for Kelnaka to not die, please. If they introduce a Wookiee Jedi and then immediately kill him off, I might actually be really salty. However, Master Soul, of course, knows that he's the next target. So perhaps maybe he'll get permission to be able to go and intercept to hopefully, hopefully maybe act as defense or protection. But I'm hoping too that we might see another sneak peek at this master, this mysterious antagonist who's kind of puppeteering the strings here behind the scenes with May. Who is she answering to right now? Who is she acting in service of? I'm kind of ready to see some more of them, this mysterious figure, or at least to just hear their voice again. I had absolute chills at the end of episode one when we hear them, supposedly, it's, it's seemingly her master who we hear speaking at the end of that episode, and it was absolutely electric. So that's my biggest hope for this episode but it's the halfway point here and shiz has already hit the fan things are getting wild things are getting personal this is a family matter so without further ado let's jump on in and see what we've got for tonight's episode episode four day just day huh oh and we're getting this new little creature who is this they looked so cute in all the promo and on the poster here that tom and i got after we got to see it in theaters that we were so curious who is this little person it's not a person who is this little thing, creature. The scenery, where did they shoot all these mountainscapes? Oh, it's kind of making me really sad. Poor Kelnaka just living out by himself. Oh, those look similar to their markings that they received, the witches. Ooh. But why would he decorate his space with them? Does he have a little bit of an obsession still, perhaps? You are not staying? I've done what I needed to do. Even if I failed to stop her. I figured you'd stay until we apprehended her. May is the Jedi's problem now. I am curious why she left the Order. She was so eager to join. You care about me. Someone must find May before she does any more harm. But it's not me. I'm glad there's no, like, animosity between former apprentice and the new... Oh, frick. I wouldn't just take off if I were you. Kofar is massively uncharted. That is one Jedi who doesn't want to be found. You went in there and risked your life for my master? To help you. I need to kill the Wookiee. We made a deal. What is his place okay. in all this? He seemingly doesn't necessarily have to be helping May. What is he gaining? Oh, hello! skill there. Yes, someone has trained her. An apprentice who doesn't know their master. Is that who I'm thinking of? She's not disciplined. Yet she eluded you. Ooh. And she killed two Jedi masters. Hit it where it hurts. The four Jedi stationed on her home planet when she was a child. How odd. She turns up all these years later trained by one of our own. We must alert the High Council. The High Council? would be obliged to inform the Senate. Mm, so they're keeping it low. Themselves. Keeping it on the DL. Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? In his that, defense, she, like, fell to her death. That. His objective is not solely our own. You must know that. A plan that is difficult to see. Then the whole master will truly be lost to us. She will not surrender without getting something in return. 
<sighs> Vernestra's good. Your master wants what you to. What did you make with him? I just owe him. You know how he is. He collects people. Please. Collects people. Osha. We need you for bait. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye. I need your help. You need me so you can get to her. Does she want to so, rejoin the Jedi? They will allow us both to go. There is still good in her. The part of her that loves you, but she is still your family. Fine. I'm not wearing that civilian robe. <laughs> Station. What's that? That's puzzle. Questions? Civilian? I hate the way the Jedi, like the subtext that is dripping whenever they call people like citizen or civilian. Like, come on. You don't have to be patronizing about it. Looking for a Wookiee who's big and hairy. So many aliens. The locals say he ventured off into the forest and never came back. Kalaka is in there. I feel so bad for him living in a place like that. Oh! <laughs> oh this thing is so freaking funny. <laughs> Look at him go. This is giving me Lord of the Rings vibes. Marching in the mountains. His name is Basil. Although most Padawans want to learn Shuri, work, I took it upon myself to learn the language a little more nuanced. Okay. But if it comes to it, and she doesn't listen to me, you need to stop her. I've known you since we were younglings. May has always been your wound. Maybe so brought you here to face her. Maybe he brought you here to face yourself. I really want to see Kelnaka throw down. I feel like he'll be able to defend himself. I love this thing already. Oh my little basil. Why do I feel like a giant bugs are gonna come sprawling out of those things? Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Of course. It is a giant bug. Oh god. Start running, y'all. So I had it. <laughs> Heck yeah, he does. Freaking love this man. Freaking goat. No, 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 no. I can't stop now. I'd like to rest for a minute. If that's all right with you. It's not, but okay. It's not a test. He calls it the final lesson. I want this more than anything, but it's impossible. And if I don't do it, they'll kill me. Uh huh. I'm gonna find you more water. Hey, right. What a cool shot! Oh my god. We've lost Bess. Did she set this? Uh, I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. Osha being alive changes everything. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. I surrender myself to Kelnaka, and then turn myself into the Jedi. No, the Jedi will put you in prison. Not after I tell them who I know. Hmm, that's true. She's got leverage. Kill you. And I don't know if even he could make it all the way over here without a guide. Interesting. I mean, it's clear. She has so much loyalty. She, as a twin, is so, she's so bonded to Osha. Like, that was her whole facade. She was acting out of rage, but I think it just came from love and, like, rejection from Osha, like, as a child. I sense things again in a way that gives me the courage to face her. They're going to face your past. Both of us will. I'll explain everything. I promise. He is hiding something. Oh. Oh. Ow. He's found me. Master Kilnaka. No, 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 no. Is he already dead? No. She isn't there gonna show up. <gasps> Oh my freak! He's here. Oh, F. Oh, and it conveniently just gets pitch black outside. Mm -hmm. No, the optics, this is not gonna be a good look. F. Come on. 
with your hands where we can see them. That means you, May Anasea. You're all in danger. Oh, F. <laughs> Frank, moment of truth. Sorry, did he just float? Stand down. No, no, no. Holy, I thought he shanked her. You're kidding me. You're like actually kidding me. That's diabolical. That is diabolical. <laughs> you're kidding me. You're kidding. That? That? You're kidding me. Holy, sorry. Replay. Replay real quick. What the f- Why? What's with- Oh god. I really thought they stabbed her right there. Holy. Yeet. <laughs> I can't believe how can they do this? How can they do Okay, okay, freeze frame for a second. Alright, does that look like a man or a woman's arm? <laughs> it's giving <laughs> Okay. I'm about to deep dive on just this arm. <laughs> Not me trying to decipher who the F this could be with just this arm. We know their height. All right. <laughs> Amanla's like what? Five foot something? Height. <laughs> five foot three. Okay. That would make this person, um, maybe if I'd paid attention more in math class on how you figure out distances, uh, that's gotta be, the helmet could also be giving them height, but f five nine, five ten, five eleven, anywhere from five nine to six foot. That's so, okay. Why am I? <laughs> Okay, but it's really, it's mainly this. Okay, show me their arm again. Okay, there's a hand. That, that is the scare. What the fuck? Mm -mm. It's giving sleep token. They like face paint themselves um, so that they're unidentifiable. That's, it, it looks like they're, this is, this is, this is. <laughs> they're definitely like face painted, I think, to like hide, conceal their identity. What the F? Okay, the initial wave of I cannot believe that they had the audacity, the gall, the absolute just to end it right there. How? Also, what a freeze frame. Poor Osha. Look at her. The initial shock factor is wearing off and now I'm just like, ah. no, the shock factor is actually still there. What the? Just ah. who? <laughs> oh my God. I cannot wait to make this my personality trying to figure out who the frick this is for the next week. Listen, I know there were theories on Twitter about Chimer uh, helping her out and I question, you know, for what cause? What is he? What, what skin in this game does he have? It's interesting. May says not even he in reference to her master could make it through these woods, you know, without a guide, you know, on, on their own. So like, you know, she's clearly very intimidated and fearful of this person and sensed them. Obviously, you know, the lightsaber mark across Kelnaka. That's how I'm like, if she tied up Chimera and ran, how would he have beat her there? Unless, of course, he just has ways, you know, if if he is the, the master. I don't know if I subscribe to that. I think I would prefer if it's an entirely different person entity. Is it plausible? Yes. How tall is that actor? Hang on. All right, so he's 5'11". So he fits, that <laughs> fits in the range. Like technically, yes, I guess that's plausible, but May is very in tune. You know, she could, she sensed, of course, yes, she had the clue. She saw Kelnaga with the, oh, that's so freaking sad. Why did it, why would they do that? <laughs> they just introduced a Wookiee Jedi and then just killed him. <laughs> At least it was off screen, but mm, sad. <laughs> this is so good. This is so effing good. Uh, talk about a cliffhanger. That is just, oh my God, I can't believe. I literally need to look up a picture of like Manny Jacinto's hand now. 
No, this is so weird. I can't. No, I don't think this is the same hand. Like, okay, that's why I'm, I'm hesitant to believe that it would be him, though, Chimere, because uh, May senses. That's where I'm going with all this. I keep losing my train of thought and straying because my brain is just so blasted right now. She sensed that he was there without question. Somehow I still didn't finish my thought. My full thought is that May, without question, immediately sensed that it was her master. She felt it, no questions asked, versus I think if she had... She didn't even seem to have the slightest suspicions about Chimere. Obviously, she kind of left him in the dust and insinuated, you know, she doesn't need him anymore. Like, I don't think that she would have confessed her entire plan. I don't know. Unless she has a larger plan. If she suspected at all. If she had even a shrivel of suspicion that Chimere could, could also be the master. I feel like she would have sensed something, seeing how quickly she sensed when her master's presence was there. What's the deal? What's this deal? Now we know, like more of her motive because it's just like okay if she just had this vendetta herself she could be acting on her own to you know avenge the coven because we know from may's perspective i think she genuinely believes the jedi had something to do with the demise as we saw yes it's no surprise that she has this vendetta against the jedi but why would she need to seek a master to help her just execute if she has these personal plans she could she could be acting on her own to you know to, to, to take vengeance obviously she would need someone to train her but as we saw she was very adept you know with with the force the thread as you know the coven was referring to it you know force thread whatever you want to call it she was very much you know leaned into it embraced it was i, I would dare say maybe more advanced or perhaps just more enthusiastic about tapping into it than osha was in her childhood yet osha was the one who had these you know jedi aspirations but i would argue that may was stronger you know with those abilities and wasn't afraid to use them and lean towards darker tendencies as we saw she was kind of torturing animals for practice you know so like she had the initial raw skill so sure i guess she would need someone to to, to help her hone it and it is interesting that you know the jedi here one i love that that addresses you know kind of like the absent of the the jedi council like the higher council members like yoda you know the senior members that we know they're trying to keep this on the hush hush the down low you know so they don't want to get them involved it probably isn't a good look trying to keep something on the down low when you should probably maybe be enlisting the help of your superiors i feel like they're gonna regret you know that choice and it's just gonna get out Anyway, like, uh, who? <laughs> Master Vanestra definitely thinks, though, that it's she's been trained by, by a Jedi. So we know that by the time Count Dooku rolls around that at least 20 Jedi have left the Order. I'd be curious, you know, in the timeline in which that would have happened. I mean, this is another hundred years prior, of course. I'm sure Osha is not the first Jedi to have peaced out. And it is curious, you know. She had some kind of glimmer of almost hope, almost excitement at the prospect when she asked Soul, like, do the Jedi want me to go? Like, I don't know if she entirely left on her own accord. I think there were maybe some other factors at play. I I, I wonder if Soul, perhaps, like, because of her headspace, she couldn't fully lock in because she was just grieving. And it's clear, you know, even Yord said to her, like, your sister was your kryptonite. She was willing to leave her whole family to go and join the Jedi Order. And then the Jedi were all she had left. So I would be curious if it was really fully on her own accord to then leave the other newfound, the only other family that she had found. It's clear she really values, you know, Soul and his opinions and what he has to say in these matters. I wouldn't venture yet to say that she maybe like still seeks his approval, but she, she he has, his words hold a lot of weight with her. I'd be curious, I don't know if we'll ever learn necessarily what the catalyst was for her leaving, but all this is to say, you know, is this another rogue Jedi that has left the order, you know, that, that could narrow down perhaps their suspects. I'm sure the Jedi keep records of who's left. They'd be stupid not to, so I'm sure they do for reasons like this. In case anyone comes back to bite them in the butt and use their training against them. What's extremely interesting, I think my favorite part about this is May had quite like a mini arc in this episode. You know, you learn of, we still don't entirely know why she's working for, who she's working for, why she's working for them in the first place, but to kind of see the whole, the grasp this person, whoever this is, has over her, yet the, the the mere thought of reconnecting with her sister, like that's what was so, I'm not a twin, so I can't speak to it, but especially in their coven, like that was a huge deal, being, you know, born as two, but always one, as they kept, you know, saying to each other, and it's clear May fully embraced that and was leaning into that as their destiny, whereas Osha was very much trying to be doing her own thing. You know, she didn't want to be tethered to that thread that really combined them, but I don't know, if you're a twin, 
shout out, tell me about it in the comments, but I could be entirely wrong, but at least in this scenario here, the two of them, that th there was a destiny surrounding them and their, you know, circumstances being conceived by magic or whatever it was that Mother Anasea employed in order to bring them into the coven, you know, to serve as then the, the future. Like, so it's like this person's grip, whoever her master is, is is slowly fading now that she feels stronger about her connection with, with Osha than she does about whatever this task is, this deal that she's carrying out. Because again, what what is a deal about this? She's getting everything that you would think she wants, you know, eliminating all of the Jedi that she probably faults for, you know, the demise of the entire coven, her whole family, and she was abandoned on that planet. Like, even Saul was, like, begging, you know, Vernestra to believe him when he's like, she had no chance of survival. Maybe she employed the Force, like, who knows? However, she was able to save herself. It still couldn't have been an easy ride for her, you know, afterwards. I'm sure that's enough to totally like change the tide for you and, and, and change your motivations and whatnot. But the timing's unfortunate uh, because now optics wise, it was gonna look like she murdered Kilnaka if the Jedi infiltrated and saw her standing there with his body and a lightsaber slash across his chest. But where the F is this gonna go from here? How the frick are they gonna get out of this situation? <sighs> Whoever this is, they had they had such a grip over, you know, May. There's sh sh like, so yeah, everything I was saying still rings true. She was, she was ready to like leave all this behind completely abandoned this you know the fear subsided at the thought of just at least being reconnected with her sister and perhaps acting on her own accord you know doing some what she wanted it's she's acting in service of whoever this is so but then the second you know she senses them she's so struck with fear like this whole sequence kind of reminded me a little bit it was so very similar to when kenobi and paula are you know hiding behind the door watching as vader rolls in <laughs> and totally just is like annihilating everybody, all the innocent civilians in the town on his way to, to obviously sniff out Kenobi. Like that's the other thing too, is did this master anticipate that she, that's why it's like, is that, could this be Chimera? Because how could they have sensed or anticipated that May was gonna abandon, you know, that she was gonna break the deal and just go rogue and, and act in her own, you know, self-service, do her own thing. There's so many questions. I'm trying to find answers because my brain is still just cannot comprehend the fact that they chose to cut right when they did. Motherfucker. Can't believe we have to wait a week. This is so diabolical in like the best way possible. Like good for them. That's bold. And I respect bold moves as much as it might cause me pain. I still feel like I haven't said everything that needs to be said, but I think I need to just go process it and maybe rewatch this scene again like 50 times because it's so, so well done. What are they gonna do about this? How the frick are they going to? Sorry, I'm just staring at this. I'm gonna go stare at this again for maybe the next hour. Thanks so much for watching, friends. <laughs> I freaking love this. This show is so darn good. Just good for them. It's so bold. Ugh. Let me know what you guys thought. If you guys have any thoughts or predictions about who this might be. Again, I'm going to go do an analysis of everybody in the cast. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in episode five. I still have no idea how the frick they're going to get out of this. We're going to find out next week. Until then, may the force be with you guys always. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. <sighs> Bye, guys.